Welcome to another episode of Dr. Confidential. This is where we look behind the scenes, give you insider tips and all the signs you need to be a better person. Like and follow below. I'm Dr. Amy Shaw and this is Patricia Ivory, Coach Patricia Ivory. Coach Patricia Ivory. Um, so I'm so excited to have you on here. Thank you so much for coming. Yes. Today we're going to give you guys a bunch of tips about how to, you know, keep your physique and health well as you get older mm -hmm. and what you do specifically with people you coach so people can learn from that. And first of all, can you just start with telling us a little bit about, more about yourself, what got you into this? Why do you do what you do? Thank you so much for having me here, Dr. Amy Shaw. It's an honor and a pleasure to be with you. This is super fun. Um, yeah, my name is Coach Patricia Ivory. I am going to turn 49 next month. So this is very interesting and exciting at the same time because I can see that after 40, it's not downhill. It's not all downhill as everybody used to talk when I was just turning 40. So I've been always into health and fitness since my early 20s. And uh, so obviously that's playing a huge, you know, paying a huge dividend, if you will. But once I turned 40, I didn't notice that things started to change a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, what used to work for me was no longer working. And I started to get very triggered about it. I was like, what is going on with this, right? Even though all my friends said that it was over, I was like, no, this is not gonna be over, right? I don't want that to happen. So I decided to, you know, really investigate into this and uh, figure out what works for us. And I went on this journey and I got my health coach certification. You know, I was already a personal trainer and I was already into, you know, fitness, did bikini competition back in the days and I was always into fitness. I was eating whole foods and, you know, organic foods when people didn't even know that what they were eating was not organic. Okay. Wow. So always being into that kind of stuff. But yeah, once I understood what it took, I had to change the protocols. I had to change how I was training. I had to change how I was eating in order for me to continue maintaining my progress. That's when he gave me this aha moment because mm. all my friends were coming to me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. And I was helping them just naturally because that's what I was doing. And I was like, no, I think I'm gonna do this as a career. I think, you know, I, I could be a great coach and I decided to get my certification on that as well. And uh, yeah, so that's yeah. my story. Awesome. So thank you for sharing. This is amazing journey. Now, you know, there's a lot of health coaches out there. There's so much interest in personal training. There's so much interest in fitness, which is amazing. I'm so <clears throat> right. excited about that. But I think, you know, there's always something special that you need Need when you're working with certain women, especially women over 40. Yeah. So what do you do differently for women over 40 or the people that you work with specifically that makes you different? <sighs> I love that question. I believe that the systems are, the science is science, is science right? Yeah. So the, the functional nutrition is science, right? The macros is science. The progressive overloading is science, right? So the science is the same, but it's how it's delivered, right? So that's number one. Number two, I also believe that the data, right, and how you are a doctor and you know, as you keep working with your patients, right, you keep getting that experience, right, and you can of what works, what, what doesn't, work, how to what, say it, yeah, right, and then you start packaging this in a very unique way that only you can deliver that, mm -hmm. right. So I believe that what makes me different is the fact that I have been going through this whole process by myself as well, on my own, right, of understanding my hormones and understand what works and what doesn't work. I'm always the one that's gonna try everything mm -hmm. to see if it works before I even pass it along to my clients. We started with a flush protocol that I shared with you, you know, for mm -hmm. gut healing and uh, hormone upregulation and all of that. And uh, the first thing I did was let me try it first, right? So I started taking a certification with MNU for hormone balance through functional nutrition with Vince Binstick. And, you know, they had all these protocols and that's the first thing I did, like let me test on me and mm -hmm. see what it does so I can teach from a place of experience. So I think that's huge, you know, I, when I see, and I'm not saying that there are coaches, you know, male that mm -hmm. couldn't coach a woman over 40, but sometimes I'm like, 
you got the science, you got the text, but you don't have the experience, yeah. right? You haven't gone through it. And I think what it separates me, and that's why I only work with women our age group, is because I know what it takes. I know what it works and what doesn't work. I love to see now, I'm not a doctor, but I'm fascinated by the lab work, by yeah. the Dutch test results, to see, you know, when you are estrogen dominant, I'm like, I was estrogen dominant. I had to do surgery to remove polyps and endometriosis. What the heck? Well, how did it even happen for me to me when I was so healthy? Oh, it was because my hormones were metabolizing in a, in a way that it was actually making me estrogen dominant. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so what do I need to do to fix that? Oh, you're gonna fix that through nutrition. Okay, let's go. Let me understand how that works. And now I've been able to help, you know, several women in our program that it was estrogen dominant and through the nutrition understand how to pivot there, they are releasing those estrogens. So I feel like in a sense we are even saving lives, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to understand hormone metabolization, right? And Yeah, I think I would say one thing I've learned over the years is that nutrition is your biggest lever for change of your hormones, the gut and hormones are completely connected. And I think that we don't talk enough about that, mm -hmm. how we can change our, like people will always say, my hormones are off, but are you sleeping? Are you eating right? Are you you know eating Correct. real food or are you eating processed junk? Um, Correct. That all matters. So thanks for saying that. Okay, so now speaking from experience, you know, when you see clients coming to you, there's this woman who's read the internet, they've Googled, maybe they've worked with other coaches in the past. Yeah. What mistakes are they commonly making? Like what what are the trends that you see that people are all doing? So if someone's watching today, they might be like, oh wait, I'm doing that. And so they might be able to fix it. Well, I love this question because you don't know what you don't know, right? So I think that the biggest thing across the board is the fact that they are all over training and under eating. What used to work in our 20s and 30s doesn't work in our 40s anymore. And they don't understand that because yeah. nobody taught, yeah. right? That. So when we were younger, we could do all the running, all the cardio, all the hit classes we could just cut all carbs and then every time you would go on a vacation you did that yeah. and then you lost yeah. the weight right and the body just responded well that doesn't work anymore over 40 yeah. right so you know hormone starts to decline and then like you said you can't how low can you go some of these women are eating less than 900 calories a, a day, day right and you there's nowhere to go and they're still not getting the results that they want exactly i think that was really eye-opening to me because i thought as in in medicine we're always taught like oh just go down on the calories if they're overweight but a lot of these women are on very low calorie very, diets very but low. then they're intermittently having very high calorie days Correct. and I think it's like giving them results that they don't really want so yeah. um, I know for me that was one of the things that you mentioned yeah. when we first started working together yeah. because I love to work out and if I have a free hour okay. I'm not gonna prep my meals I want to go do a workout, workout right so yeah. I definitely overtrain. I have to force myself now that I'm working with you, yeah. force myself to have days where I'm just doing arms and I'm not right. going to be doing three cardio classes or, right. you know, another yoga class later yeah. today or whatever it is. Yeah, and, and that was very common, right? Back in the day, we could do that and it was no problem. You know, it's not like the cardio is going to eat up your muscle. It's not that, right? It's the fact that you already overly stressed at this age. Cortisol is it's, through the roof yeah. and now you're going to be continue pushing your body Body with more cardio, it's not going to support to your adrenal system and it's going to be catabolic, right? So mm -hmm. high cortisol is catabolic. So you can't build the muscle. Now you're already losing muscle. Muscle is what supports fat loss and high metabolism. But now yeah. you, you, you know, you're shooting yourself on the foot. So they come to me, it's like, I've been working out six days a week so yeah. and how much are you eating? And then they're like a thousand calories. It's like, and I still can lose weight. And I was like, okay, so I'm going to feed you more. And they freak out. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? I can't lose weight is eating a thousand calories. Like, what am I gonna do with you? I'm gonna take you to 500? Like, yeah. I'm gonna kill you, right? Not even my grandbaby eats 500 <laughs> calories per day. So that's the biggest thing that I see is that they still with that mindset that I have to eat less and do more cardio. I remember me and Rachel were having a conversation in the car one day and she was saying in college in Georgia, like where she went, they would always be like, okay, New Year's, get ready for spring break. And they would start <laughs> right. like this big diet from right. January to March. Yeah. And then after spring break, you're like, 
okay, it's swimsuit season, like yeah. start now, you know, like, so it's like everyone's used to these diet and bin cycles, like, Correct. and then on vacation you go crazy, and that works when you're in works. college. Yeah. Perfectly, yeah. Okay, so I've been working with you for a few months now, mm -hmm. and I've known people who've worked with you for a few years yeah. now, and they've been telling me that your program is different. And so I didn't really believe it in the beginning, but I thought, well, let's give it a shot, because I'm always trying to learn for myself. Like, yeah. I always feel like you can't cut your own hair, you can't you know like <laughs> right. you can't do your own diet plan like you have to have a coach to that keeps you accountable so it made me want to reach out to you and I, I can answer this myself too mm -hmm. but I'd love for you to first say like what is it that you do differently how do you coach people differently and why do you get different results than others okay I believe that I'm very individualized right so I like to really sit down with you and really hear you and really understand what's happening there in order for me to troubleshoot what we need to do next, right? So that's number one. Compliance is huge as well. And what I believe is that people tend to comply when they understand why mm -hmm. we need to do certain things. Mm -hmm. So I believe that I'm a teacher by heart and I love teaching. So when I sit down with you and explain to you what protein does and what doesn't do, and this is what we're doing the strength training, we're gonna lift this and that, and use it for your, you know, mindset and for. I feel that the women really start to fall in love with the process, the, the process for themselves as well. But then we keep tweaking things, right? Every two weeks, I troubleshoot. Okay, why is this not working? Why is this working? Let's change this. Let's change there, and the body starts to respond, right? As they stay consistent with the process. So I see that most of our clients I believe we have a really high you know uh, amount of clients that are compliant and that see the result because we keep changing the protocols and we keep you know making adjustments so it's very individualized also to fit with their lifestyles mm -hmm. right when things are not working we even test to see how the hormones are you know are and why are you weight loss resistant so there's all those nuances if you will that I keep bringing into the program to make sure that we are seeing progress yeah, one of the things that I was talking to a client of yours about, we're friends outside of this, and we said, I th women tend to do everything for everybody else. Mm -hmm. And I think when women talk to you, they felt, feel heard. Mm -hmm. And we are so used to taking care of our children and yeah. our husbands or our patients or our family, you know, and to feel like someone else cares about you mm -hmm. and your success and your health and your mindset, it goes a long way. Yeah. So that, thank you for doing that. I think that's yeah. one of the things that I found that I almost, I told Mipo, my cousin who was, you know, talking about signing up with you, I said, it's almost like a life coach, a health coach mm -hmm. that's a life coach yeah. because she also wants to know hey what's going on in your life like why is this happening yeah um, so yeah, yeah that's really great okay so thank you so much for describing all of this stuff one of one of my last questions that I have for you is um, personal so if I'm coming to you which I did come to you um, and I've been working with you just so people know like what are some of the strategies slash goals that you had for me strategies of how you think that I can change my body and my health and you know because I think a lot a lot of people can learn from that someone like you that have experience <laughs> okay that was like when we talked I was like oh my gosh what can I teach this woman right like she's she knows everything she's she's an expert on this but I believe that you know there's the you you can eat healthy all day long right and you are very good with that but it's still not accomplished that body composition, right? So uh, the first thing I did was troubleshoot how much you were eating. Yeah. Right? I'm like, okay, you're under eating and you want to build muscle. We can't build muscle without fuel. So let's change that. So that's the first thing I address and I would address with anybody is to really go and start tracking your calories for at least a good two weeks. Don't worry about anything, just anything you eat, just go and track. So that's the first thing. So you understand your baseline, right? So once you do that, then you need to figure out, okay, am I under eating or am I overeating based on your BMR? So now you need to learn how to calculate that, right? So that's why having a coach is so important. Then you need to really minimizing all the extra workouts that you're doing yeah right? so <laughs> that I was always, my problem that was your problem mm -hmm. right so working out six days a week and then 10,000 12,000 steps every day so overdoing 
it. We build the muscle at rest, not in the gym, right? So then every client is only working out three to four times a week and that's it. Everything else is gonna be just steps and maybe a little bit of 15 minutes of, you know, on the Stairmaster or elliptical, nothing crazy. So I did this thing where I did um, level one for one minute and then, sorry, level five on the Stairmaster mm -hmm. for one minute. Correct. And level 10 for one minute. And Correct. I alternated for 15 minutes and I thought that was a really great way to get yep. some cardio in. That's it. That was challenging, but it was short. Short, and that's all you need, right? So we don't need to tank, especially after training the way we do, yeah. right? So you know it's it's a lot of, you know, power that you, a lot of output when you're doing those those workouts. So, so that's number one. Number two, right? And number three, uh, you really need to work on stress management. That's yeah. huge. For our age group, that's gonna be key. And I see yeah. a lot of women all so stressed out, understand that when our progesterone drops, as you understand that, our ability to handle stress is not the same. So, you know, you're not as resilient anymore mm -hmm. as we used to, to handle stress. So yeah. everything now becomes like a monster yeah. compared to what it used to be. So you don't handle stress as good. So it's it's really adding more into your adrenal system, into your gut, yeah. right? And it's affecting everything. And you can build muscle if your hormones are not optimized and you can optimize your hormone without a healthy gut yeah so it was beautiful too it's been awesome to work with you and see such a quick progress because your gut is healed your hormones is upregulated, and so as soon as we fix those yeah. things in two weeks her you know yeah her transformation I mean it's been amazing already I think the biggest changes that I made was I cut out all the extra cardio and I spent a little more time with food prep which I think most people would benefit from yeah um, you know spending a little extra time if you're someone who loves to exercise spend a little extra time on food prep and not as much working out and then like you said the stress management like sleep trumps all like I always have to tell mm -hmm. myself your sleep and your stress trumps it all so if you can't get that under control like Correct. there's no point in doing any of the other stuff yep. so like I'm I do this ridiculous nighttime routine just wow. to like help myself go to sleep and sleep well so yeah. that then the next day I'm less stressed because for me it's like a spiral if I don't sleep well I'm yeah. stressed and then I don't stress right. I drink more caffeine and then I'm you know like it's like this and your blood sugar yeah like, so it's oh, like yeah. if I start with a good sleep good morning sunlight a walk oh, my whole so day is that. like oh yeah, my gosh I'm good. learning from you like yeah. when I go in the morning like let me just send her a video yeah exactly like is this good enough yeah <laughs> you know you're really good with that yeah but then you see I have how to be. fast yeah. your results came yeah right so when people message how did you she get those results in two weeks because everything else was optimized yeah so a lot of times people come to work with me I'm like it's gonna take a good six to eight weeks just for me to get you to baseline yeah right so it's a process it takes time you got to give yourself time to heal to work on your gut upregulate those hormones right and then build that muscle so you can build that tone physique that everybody wants get rid of the midsection that most women over 40 stay stuck with right but there's a way to do this we just need to have time and someone to you know go through the process with you Awesome. We could talk about this all day. Oh my God. So I want to thank you so much. Thanks. It's Coach Patricia Ivory. Um, where can they learn more about you? Well, surprisingly, I don't have a website yet, <laughs> but you can find me on Instagram, Coach Patricia Ivory. I'm also on Facebook under Patricia Ivory. And yeah, that's the easiest way. You can email me, Patricia at fitandtoneover40.com. And yeah. Thanks so much for being thank here. You. I'm enjoying the process. And thank you. I know I'm not always, you know, I love to fast and I do all these like, weird things but yes. I'm super excited to get to the end and really yeah. show everyone like yeah. what you are capable of let's do so, it all right excited. thanks thank you for having me